On this week's Emily Now episode, I'm going to be talking about how do you know when your business should be approaching the bank for additional financing, how much money a bank will lend to you after you've started your business. I'm going to give you an example of a company that we know of that was able to benefit significantly from the government funding programs that are available, so I'll tell you a little bit about that, as well as uh, giving you some tips on how to secure funding for your business as a result of something I had read in the Globe and Mail that I think you might find helpful. So uh, stay tuned, it's going to be a good episode. My name is Dylan Gallagher, founder of EmilyNow.ca. We're an online platform that connects borrowers with banks and lenders. We have a disruptive way in which we do that where we give you control over all of your information, all of your details so that you can uh, decide which banks you want to show it to. And uh, what's neat about our platform is you can get a score out of 10 that tells you the probability of being approved and then you can also use that score to match it to the banks and lenders that can approve you. Every week we put these Emily episode uh, episodes together to teach you a little bit more about all things finance with a focus on debt as it relates to mortgages and loans because we believe that if we can help you make better decisions that that might save you some money and uh, with those savings uh, you'll be ready for whatever might come your way including some new opportunities that you might want to invest in or maybe you'll be in a position to give some of those savings away uh, to the community around you. We are on Twitter. Emily Now Canada is where you can follow us. You can like us on Facebook, on Google+, subscribe to us on YouTube. We'd encourage you to reach out, connect with us, send us your questions, send us your comments. Uh, who knows, maybe they'll show up in the next Emily Now episode. And uh, with each episode, we usually answer a few questions. And today's first question is, when should I approach the bank for additional financing? The short answer is when you know that your business needs it and that when you can articulate how it will be used and how it's going to be repaid. And I know that sounds very, very simple, but the, the truth of it is that it's not. Uh, it's important to know that every business at some point needs financing. Very few businesses can grow out of cash flow. And what I mean by that is the very nature of business is such that you'll have a product or a service and you'll have a profit margin, which is the money that's left over after you've paid all of your expenses. And uh, many businesses just simply don't have either a great enough profit margin or they have a really great prof profit margin, but they don't have enough volume where all of the cash that they're making can support their future growth. At some point, financing uh, is a decision that many businesses have to face. And so when, is, uh, when, when should you approach the bank uh, for additional financing? It's basically when you have a plan for it. Keep in mind that when you get a, a loan for your business or when you get financing of any sort, what you're really doing is borrowing against the future. And so if you don't have a plan for what that future looks like, then that's not the time to go to the bank and get additional financing. The time to go to the bank is when you've been able to look down the road for the next two or three years, you've been able to say, if we had X amount of dollars, this is what it would enable us to do. And more importantly, here is how it affects our cash and how we would be able to repay it. So when you think you've got that ready, that's when you should visit the bank. It doesn't hurt to visit with the bank ahead of that happening. You can talk to them about, you know, if you've had a bank for, for a long time or a bank manager that you really like, go and chat with them about your business and situation, what it's looking for. But ultimately what you're going to find is that they're going to need to be able to see that you meet their criteria. And to that end, you can use emilynow.ca to do that. Uh, in less than five minutes and a few clicks, you can see what that criteria looks like. You can see whether your business would qualify or not. And if it does qualify, what kind of bank it would qualify for. So we'd encourage you uh, to visit emilynow.ca if, if you think you are in a position where your business needs additional financing. Our second question today is, how much will a bank lend after a business has been started? Well, they'll lend you as much as your business can afford. And that answer is based on a few different factors. Um, but again, your business needs to meet the criteria. Most businesses 
not only do they not know the criteria, because it's not their business to know how banks approve mortgages and loans and financing and so forth, but they don't have a plan. And so if your business needs to grow, uh, the question is, how is it going to do that? And how much cash is it going to take to make it grow? Is the business going to grow out of cash flow? Is it going to grow because the owners are going to stick in some cash? Is it going to grow because the, the bank that you're counting on uh, approving a loan uh, is going to give you that loan that you're, you're seeking? So how much will a bank lend to you after your business has been started? It's really a derivative of your business itself. Uh, how well has it done so far? What do its prospects look like going into the future? Has it signed a big client? Has it entered into maybe some really great strategic relationships that are going to produce new business? And that new business is going to need some capital in order to, uh, to realize on, on the revenue that's going to come from that. So it's important to know um, if you're going to go to the bank, you're going to talk to them about what your business needs. It's important that you have a plan and that you understand um, what it's going to take not only to get the money, but to repay the money. And so there's no limit how much a bank will lend you after your business has started. They'll lend you as, as much as you need. And that tends to be the real disconnect because many people think, oh, well, the bank's just not going to lend me any money because banks don't lend money. That's not what they do. Or, oh, we'll never qualify because we're a new business or what have you. But I can tell you in 18 years of doing this, banks want to lend money and more importantly than that they need to lend money because that's how they make money and so I wouldn't be scared if I was you uh, of if you're a new business and you're trying to figure out how much a bank's going to lend to you in fact you can visit emilynow.ca we'd be happy to show you what that answer looks like you don't even need to talk to us you can go on your own you can punch in a loan amount very anonymously and see what the criteria looks like see which banks or lenders uh, would lend to you based on the Emily score that you have um, but Make sure you've got a plan. Make sure you can articulate uh, how much money your business needs uh, because there is no limit to how much money the bank is going to lend to you. And this doesn't have to do with mortgages or loans, but government funding is something that comes up from time to time. And I'm personally familiar with uh, a company that uh, I've been fortunate to be a small, very, very small part of more in terms of uh, the owner uh, just listening to me talk and give uh, some uh, answers to questions that he's had about uh, his business as it goes. But the business itself has been able to benefit significantly from the government programs that are available. And you may not know it, but the government of Canada has hundreds of grants and programs that they make available for businesses to take advantage of if they need financing. Now some of these grants are pure, here's a bunch of cash, if you meet the criteria you can get it. So if you're going to employ a summer student um, or if you're looking to get some cost sharing for you know, maybe some software development or something like that, there's lots of programs that the government has uh, that they'll just give you the cash for. But you may not know that they also have programs where they will lend you the money through a bank, so pick any bank that you can think of right now, and the government will make the money available through that bank, but they'll give you really great terms on it. So maybe instead of having to pay it back in five years, you can pay it back in ten years, or maybe instead of having to have all of the bank criteria met perfectly, there's only one or two things that have to be met in order for you to get the financing, or maybe instead of paying you know, a 4% interest rate, you pay a 5.5% interest rate. But the point is, is that there are lots of government programs out there for businesses to take advantage of both on a grant basis, where they just give you the money, or on a financing basis, where they will make very preferred terms available to you for some financing that your business might need. Now, uh, much like anything, uh, it's not a process where you just sort of pick up the phone, call the government, or pick up the phone and talk to the bank. You do have to have a plan, and there's lots of resources out there that you can take a look at uh, if you think your business might want to explore some of these programs available from the government. So have a plan, have some financial statements modeled out in terms of what you think uh, your business is going to look like if you're able to get that cash, and uh, if it's a grant, you don't have to show how it's going to be paid back, but if it's uh, not a grant and it's sort of a preferred financing package that you're looking for, then you're going to have to show how the business 
is viable and how it's going to be in a position uh, to pay it back. So anyway, there's a real life example uh, of a company that we know of, uh, I know of personally, that has benefited uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars from uh, these various government programs, probably over about a dozen different programs. And uh, this particular business owner has become very good at understanding the programs, has gotten some help from some consultants in the industry that are able to navigate and, and help direct his efforts. But I can, I can tell you that it, it's done wonders uh, for his business and has really given him the ability to get somewhere faster than if he had to kind of wait for his cash flow uh, to kick in or had to wait to, for his business to meet conventional lending criteria. So government funding might be something that you might want to take a look at. Terry Kirk had an article in the Globe and Mail that we took a look at which we thought was really helpful and relevant, obviously, to what we do at emilynow.ca. And it was some tips on how to secure funding for your business. Uh, the article started off by mentioning an Ernst & Young study, a big accounting firm, that showed 73% of entrepreneurs uh, in Canada say that it remains difficult to access financing. And then Terry goes on to list sort of 10 tips for businesses to take advantage of if they're looking to secure funding. But there was one tip that stood out particularly for me that I thought I would expand on a little bit, and it was financing is a process, not a singular task. And as you've heard me say, or as our clients have heard me say uh, over the years, uh, most every business is going to need to fund itself at some point. And better than that, it's probably going to need financing at some point. Very few businesses can grow out of the cash that their business makes. At some point, they do take on financing to help them grow faster or to help them ease the growth pains as they're going. And so an example of that might be if, um, uh, if a business signs up a brand new client, um, they typically have to cover the wages and the costs associated with bringing that new client on and starting to work on their file before they get, or their, their, their sale, maybe before they get their first check. And so somehow they need to float those costs until those checks start coming in from this new client. So they'll look for working capital to do that as an example. Um, or maybe a business is looking to grow and it realizes that it's going to have a gap between its, its payables and its receivables. Uh, so they'll need somehow to fill that gap and so financing will be required. Or maybe they need to purchase a competitor to help take a bigger piece of the market faster. Well, they're going to need a term loan to, to buy that competitor because very rarely will they have the cash sitting in their bank. And so most businesses have to um, wrestle with this financing beast at some point. And more importantly, businesses typically have to do it over and over again. And so uh, financing being a process and not a singular task couldn't be um, more spot on with what our experience teaches us. And so um, it can be hard to obtain financing, or at least my opinion is that it can be hard to obtain financing as a business because many times the business is simply not ready. The business knows it needs money, but it's not a bank. So it doesn't understand what is a bank going to look for, um, what criteria do I have to meet, and they tend to have, businesses tend to have this idea in their head that, oh, it's just going to be difficult. No matter what I do, I'm not going to be able to get approved. And so they tend to just stay away. Um, or if they do go to the bank, they do it because they know they don't have any other option, but they go unprepared. And so then they spend tons of time faxing and emailing and calling and just sending information over to the bank. And over a series of weeks, maybe they get an answer. Um, but they tend not to be prepared most of the time. And for me, that's why I tend to see that it's hard for businesses to access financing or why you'll talk to a bunch of businesses who will say, oh, it's really hard to get financing. Well, I believe it's not. I believe that the banks, um, they exist for a reason. Uh, they are still part of, of our economy for a reason. They're very profitable for a reason. And that reason is because they do lend money. Um, yes, they charge us service fees and they seem to get us for, for, uh, for everything that they can, but at the core of what they do, they do lend money. And businesses simply need to get comfortable with that and they need to be able to plan a little bit so that they can approach the bank with confidence knowing that they're going to get approved. And so we would encourage businesses to visit emilynow.ca. In fact, that's why we built the platform because we deal with small businesses. Our specialty is working with businesses who need less than $10 million dollars 
which is a very uh, fragmented marketplace uh, with all different types of financing needs and all different types of lenders. But EmilyNow.ca was meant to alleviate the pain and the burden of a business trying to figure out, can I even get approved? If I can get approved, which banks are going to approve me and what criteria do I need to meet? So we've made it really, really simple. In less than five minutes, without even creating an account, you can see the basic outline of what it's going to take to get your business financing. You can see the banks that would probably approve you. And then if you choose to register for an account, you can then refine that information and get something very specific to your business and send your requests out to the banks um, for them to review. And so, uh, yep, we agree that uh, financing is uh, a continuous process. It's not something you do once and then you never do it again. And we believe that uh, at emilynow.ca that we're, we're trying to help businesses who find themselves in that position of saying, man, it's really difficult uh, to get financing because because we don't believe it is, and we believe that the, the money is there if you're simply ready um, and prepared uh, to get approved. So that's it for this week's Emily Now episode. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you found it helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time.